Hi, in this video we're going to be going through lesson 6.3, finding the area of a triangle. We're going to start by looking at how we find the formula of the area of a triangle based on what we already know about the area of a rectangle. We're going to prove that the area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle that has the same base and height. In the picture, we have a rectangle ABCD. If we take a look at the triangle ABC, we see that this line segment AB is perpendicular to the line segment BC. This means that it forms a right angle where the two line segments intersect, so it looks like an L. BC is the base and AB is the height. The length of the base BC is equal to 5 centimeters. The length of the height AB is equal to 7 centimeters. And we got those numbers by counting the squares. We already know that the area of a rectangle is base times height, so we would calculate the area of this rectangle by multiplying 5 times 7, which equals 35 square centimeters. Now when we look at our picture, we can tell visually that the triangle ABC is half the area of rectangle ABCD. So the way that we would figure out the area of triangle ABC would be by multiplying one half times the area of rectangle ABCD. This equals one half times 5 times 7, which is also equal to 1 half times the length of BC times the length of AB. And since BC is the base and AB is the height, our formula of the triangle would be equal to 1 half times base times height. We're going to be using this formula on the next couple examples to find the area of triangles. If you remember from the last example, we figured out that the area of a triangle is equal to one half times the base times the height. Now to clarify what we mean by the height, it's the perpendicular distance from one of the vertices to the base. So in the triangle below, the height would be the distance that's perpendicular from P down to the base of QR. The reason that this distance right here would be the height is because when we look at the other side lanes, PQ and PR, neither of those sides is perpendicular to QR because it doesn't form a right angle with QR. So that's why we had to go from P and draw a perpendicular, perpendicular line to QR. In the examples that we'll be doing, the height will already be given to you. We look at our formula as area equals one half times base times height. We can start plugging in the information that we know from our triangle. Looking at our triangle, the base QR is equal to 38 centimeters. So we can plug that in for the base. And then our perpendicular height 
is equal to 15 centimeters. So we can plug that in as well. So all we have to do is multiply 1 half times 38 times 15. So off to the side, we're going to go ahead and multiply 38 times 15. Five times eight is 40. Five times three is 15 plus four is 19. One times eight is eight. One times three is three. Then we go and add. Zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus eight is 17. One plus one plus three is five. So now we have one half times 570 is equal to our area. Now whenever you're multiplying a whole number by one half, you can just think of that as dividing that number by two. So we can do 570 divided by two to figure out what the area is. Five divided by two is two. Two times two is four. 5 minus 4 is 1, bring down the 7. 17 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1, bring down the 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. You subtract and you get 0. So that means that our answer is equal to 285 square centimeters. In this next example we're going to take a look at what happens when the perpendicular height appears to be outside the triangle like in this example. We're still going to use the same formula area equals one-half times base times height. So I use B to represent base and H to represent height. So we take a look at our triangle. Our base would be BC, so our base is equal to 56 feet. If we take a look at our height, our height in this example would be equal to 31 feet. So our height would not be 35 feet, which is also labeled in our triangle because AB is not perpendicular to BC. So they might throw in one of the side lanes to try to almost trick you, but you need to realize that the height has to be perpendicular to the base. So in order to draw a perpendicular line to our base in this example, we have to draw an imaginary height line that appears to be outside of our triangle. And so we almost then extend imaginary line off of BC as well so that we can see that we have a right angle here. So now that we know what our base and our height are, we can go ahead and input those numbers into our formula. So we have area equals 1 half, our base is 56, and our height is 31. So we'll start by multiplying 56 times 31. You also, if you wanted to, since 56 is an even number, you could find half of 56 and then multiply that by 31, if you would like. One times six is six, one times five is five, three times six is 18, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 8 is 13, 1 plus 6 is 7, and you have 1. Now we're going to take 1,736 and we're going to divide that by 2 because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. Seventeen divided by two is equal to eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Seventeen minus sixteen is one. Bring down the three. 
13 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down the 6. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. So our answer would be 868 feet squared.